Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My beloved brothers and sisters, this is Sunan al-Tirmidhi, which is also referred to as al-Jam'u al-Kabir, written by al-Imam Abi Isa Muhammad ibn Isa ibn Sawrah al-Tirmidhi, who died in the year 279 Hijriya. This is the second volume, and the taba'a that I'm using, the publication, is Daru al-Ta'seel, which is the best publication out there right now, alhamdulillah. It is the best copy with the least, the least mistakes. Um, and I was reading the second volume as I was preparing for my explanation of Kitab al-Sifat written by Imam al-Daru Qutani, rahimahullah. And so I came to the chapter where the author, rahimahullah, this Kitab is Kitab Babu Ma Ja'a Fi Fadli Sadaqah, the chapter that came regarding the virtues of Sadaqah. And Imam Al-Tirmidhi, uh, uh, he brings a hadith here, which he says uh, from his own chain of narration, of course, Abu Quray Muhammad ibn Al-Ala, قال حدثنا يعني وكيع ibn Jarrah al-Ru'asi, قال حدثنا عباد ibn Mansur, قال حدثنا القاسم ibn Muhammad, قال سمعت أبا هريرة, يعني عبد الرحمن ibn Sakhr al-Dawsi, يقول قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله يقبل الصدقة ويأخذها بيمينه. so here there's a hadith used here which falls under the chapters known as a hadith of sifat, Allah's characteristics and attributes. ويأخذها بيمينه. so الإمام التلمي ذا رحمه الله one of the beneficial things about his book is that he actually has تعليقات and some points that he mentions. so sometimes he speaks slightly different from some of the other ائمه who don't really have much say says in their books. But he says something, so inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to read the statement on you, but I'm not going to explain it, inshallah ta'ala, but I'll explain the last part, inshallah ta'ala. He says, وَقَدْ, وقد قَالَ غَيْرُ وَاحِدٍ مِّنْ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ فِي هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ وَمَا يُشْبِهُهُ هَذَا مِنَ الْرِوَايَاتِ هَذَا مِنَ الْرِوَايَاتِ مِنَ الصِّفَاتِ وَنُزُولِ الرَّبِّ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى كُلَّ لَيْلَةٍ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا قَالُوا فَثَبَتَتِ الرِّوَايَاتُ فِي هَذَا وَيُؤْمَنُ بِهَا وَلَا يُتَوَهَّمُ وَلَا يُقَالُ كَيْفَ هَكَذَا رُوِيَ عَمْ مَالِكِ بْنُ أَنَسٍ وَسُفْيَانِ بْنُ عُيَيْنَ وَعَبْدُ اللَّهِ بْنُ الْمُبَارَكِ أَنَّهُمْ قَالُوا فِي هَذِهِ الْأَحَادِيثِ أَمِرُّوهَا بِلَا كَيْفٍ وَهَكَذَا قَوْلُ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ مِنْ أَهْلِ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ وَأَمَّا الْجَهْمِيَة So he brings all the statement of the ائمه السنة الإمام مالك بن أنس سفيان بن عيينة عبد الله بن مبارك that all of them, they said, أمروها, go over it, بلا كيفن. وهكذا قول أهل العلم من أهل السنة. So that's the view of أهل السنة. All of that is what أهل السنة والجماعة believe regarding what? Regarding a hadith of sifat. Now he goes into the deviated group, which are the جهمية. So what did the جهمية do? So he said, وأما الجهمية فأنكرت هذه الروايات. So as for the جهمية, they rejected these narrations. وقالوا, they said, if we affirm these characteristics, we're going to fall into tashbih, resembling the creator with the creation. وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى فِي غَيْرِ مَوْضِعٍ مِّنْ كِتَابِهِ الْيَدَى وَالسَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ And he says Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentioned in more than one place in his book, the Qur'an, Al-Yada. So I actually, it actually amazes me that Al-Imam Al-Tirmidhi mentioned three characteristics here. And if you look at these three characteristics, they are three different characteristics. Okay? And so this is al yada and this is Sam'ah, and this is Al-Basara. The ones who know the deviated group, the Asha'ira, Asha'ira affirm, as they claim, Al-Sam'a and Wal-Basara. So Al-Sam'a and Wal-Basara are from the seven characteristics that the Asha'ira affirm, which are known as, which they call Sifat Datiya. As for al yada they don't affirm it. But it amazes me that Al-Imam Al-Tirmidhi mentions all three of them together. And look what he says after it. Okay? To show you that the belief of this one and this one and this one should all be the same. Look what he says. And he's not talking about the Asha'ira, but he's talking about the Jahmiyyah. He says, فَتَأَوَّلَتِ الْجَهْمِيَّةُ هَذِهِ الْآيَاتِ وَفَسَّرُوهَا عَلَىٰ غَيْرِ مَا فَسَّرَ أَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ Okay. So the Jahmiyyah, they distorted. The Ta'wil here doesn't mean a tafsiru because it comes in one of those meanings. Here it means a tahrif, as Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah mentions in his kitab, uh, 
uh, in his Majmu' al-Fatawa when he was speaking about his Kitab al-Aqeet al-Wasatiyya. فتأولت الجهمية The Jahmiyyah distorted هذه الآيات These verses that came regarding Allah's characteristics and attributes. وفسروها على غير ما فسر أهل العلم And they explained it to be other than that which the people of knowledge explained it. So who is he referring to Ahl al-Ilm here? Let's just go up. Oh, there they are. Qawlu Ahl al-Ilm min Ahl al-Sunnah. So Jahmiyyah are going against Ahl al-Ilm, who he means by Ahl al-Sunnah. Waqalu, they said. Meaning, who does this qala? Waqalu go back to? It goes back to the Jahmiyyah. Inna Allah lam yakhluq Adam biyadhi. The Jahmiyyah said, Allah did not create Adam with his hand. Waqalu, they also said, Inna ma ma'ana al-yadi. That the meaning of yad means ha huna here al quwa. It means quwa, strength. Now, what's funny is that the the translation of al yad mean quwa or explaining yad to be quwa. This is actually one of the belief of the ashaira. But if we look here, al Imam al Tirmidhi is saying that to explain yad to mean quwa is tafsir al jahmi. It's a jahmi tafsir. So what a lot of scholars have taken and believe is that the sha'ira of today are actually jahmiya. They are jahmiya. So Imam Tirmidhi rahimahullah shows that this is a jahmi, jahmi uh, meaning. وَقَالَ إِسْحَاقُ بْنُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يعني إِسْحَاقُ بْنُ رَاهُوَيَ إِسْحَاقُ بْنُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ is here. إِسْحَاقُ بْنُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ إِسْحَاقُ بْنُ رَاهُوَيَ أما Ishaq ibn Rahawaya, however you want to say it. Some, some who say Rahawaya, they say it in accordance to the wazn of Sibawaya. And those who say Ishaq ibn Rahawaya, they say according to how Ahl al-Hadith say it. Ala kulli hal, they said, Qala Ishaq ibn Ibrahim, who is Shaykh al-Bukhari, he says, Inna ma yakunu tashbihu, so the tashbih is, and I have to just mention Ishaq ibn Ibrahim, he is the teacher of Imam al-Bukhari, and he's the one who brought the idea to the mind of Imam al-Bukhari to write Sahih al-Bukhari he is the one who brought it to his mind so this is not a normal uh, Imam okay so you have to know this وقال إسحاق بن إبراهيم said إنما يكون التشبيه إذا قال يد كيد أو مثل يد أو سمع كسمع أو مثل سمع فإذا قال سمع كسمع فإذا قال سمع كسمع أو مثل سمع فهذا التشبيه. So الإمام إسحاق بن راهوية mentions to us if a person says that Allah تبارك وتعالى has a hand like a hand or like a hand or he says Allah has a hearing like a hearing. So the kafiyah and the مثل are just roughly the same meaning. Allah hears like that hearing or Allah تبارك وتعالى hears like that hearing or Allah has a hand like that hand. Then he says. فإذا قال سمع كسمع أو مثل سمع فهذا التشبيه all of those falls under تشبيه وأما إذا قال but if he says كما قال الله as Allah said يد Allah has a hand وسمع Allah has a hearing وبصر Allah has a hearing Allah has a seeing so Allah has a hearing and Allah sees ولا يقول and he doesn't say كيف how ولا يقول مثل and he doesn't use the word مثل سمع وَلَاكَ سَمْعٍ And he doesn't say like a hearing فَهَذَا لَا يَكُونُ تَشْبِيهًا That's not تشبيه وَهُوَ كَمَا قَالَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ And that is what Allah said in his book لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ So this ayah refutes two groups of people This part of the verse It is refuting the مشبهة Those who make Allah تبارك وتعالى Similar to his creation And this part of the verse is refuting uh, the Mu'attila, those who don't want to give Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala his characteristics which he has affirmed for himself. So Tashbihun, a refutation on the Mushabbiha by telling them that Allah's characteristics is not similar to the characteristics of the creation. And this is a refutation on the uh, Mu'attila, those who want to not give Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala any characteristics whatsoever. Anything I have said that was wrong, a mistake, فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ وَاللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ بَرِئَانِ مِنْهُ is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayh.